Hey, you know it's your girl Jessie B. I love music. I love to sing. I love to rap. I love to dance, and I love to act. But did you also know that I love to cook and eat? Yeah, of course. <laughs> we all like to eat, right? I guess. But anyways, I like to eat more than I like to cook. But today, I want to be sharing with you some of my recipes and how I like to whip up a few meals. Today, I'm going to be making lamb chops, shoulder cuts, um, also pork steaks here, some zucchini, some macaroni cheese, and some sweet potatoes. That's very simple. It's going to be quick. So I'm going to try to do my best to do it in less than 30 minutes. Um, the lamb chops are obviously going to cook quicker, so it won't take that much time. But anyways... I'm going to show you everything that you're going to need to get this done. Make it tasteful, wonderful. Um, let's start with the vegetables. So if you take your onion and you cut it in half horizontally against the lines, you'll get exact lines that you need to make small pieces. As a matter of fact, it'll also decrease the chances of you crying. Because I know they say if you're pretty, you make an onion cry. <laughs> But anyways, you need to not only mince it, but to make it pasty because you're going to use it later. Here I have already pre-seasoned the pork steaks. I put them on the grill and as you see, they're not deep frying, so there's no need for a bunch of grease. Here I showed you how I soaked my lamb chops in apple cider vinegar. And then I season it a little bit because I do like um, the actual natural vegetables. But if you don't want to do, you know, spend a bunch of time chopping up stuff, then you can just simply season it, which is what I did. But make sure you use a lot of garlic. Um, what I did in the pan is I put olive oil and butter and then I tested it and you need to turn it high because you want it to sizzle. As a matter of fact, how you can test it is by wetting your hand and then thumping it. Um, some water drops into the grease and if it makes the sizzling noise, then you know that you're, you're good. You're good to go. You're going to put your lamb chops, lay them face down, take your vegetables, sprinkle them over there after you've had them there for a few seconds, maybe like 10 seconds, almost a minute. Um, let them sear on one side and brown a little bit. Um, and then you're gonna obviously flip them over. I just realized since I'm doing this audio that I had already pre-cooked um, the potatoes, the sweet potatoes. But while you are flipping your meats, your pork steaks and your lamb chops, you can be peeling your sweet potatoes unless you use them out of the can. Um, I cut the meat in half so you can see that it is well done. It is not pink nor bloody. Um, same thing with the lamb chops. As a matter of fact, I did two batches. This is the first batch. If you like it medium, which is how I like it, juicy and tender. Um, those are perfectly done. These, on the other hand, um, well, I'm showing you that they're done. And then I put a new set in there. And then I let those cook for approximately six minutes. Um, the exact same thing that I did with the other ones. The only difference is I'm going to put these in the oven um, so that they can be well done. You want to put your oven on 375 and you're good to go. Good. Next, put the lamb chops in the oven and this is for people who want them well done. If you want them medium well, how I like them, you will go ahead and take them um, out. But before you do, um, I didn't have a baser, so I just tilted my pan and poured the grease on top with the vegetables. And then I took the um, minced garlic, onion, not bell pepper, just minced garlic and onion that I showed you previously. And I basically smeared them into the top of the meat. And then I'm going to put them into the oven, which I have preheated. And as you see, I did fast forward this. So it's a lot um, quicker than the time that I actually took. After you've let those cook, 
um, remember that's the second batch. The first batch I was already done with. This is the second batch. I let it cook for six minutes. Um, I flipped them over. I minced them, uh, took the minced garlic and onion and smeared them on the top to give them more flavor. Put them in the oven. While they were in the oven, I went ahead and made the ingredients that I like to add to my sweet potatoes, which is milk, almond milk, butter of your choice, and sugar. Some people use marshmallows, I use sugar. After that, I went ahead and oiled the pan for the zucchini. I chose string zucchini. It's a way, the reason that I do that is to trick my baby into thinking that it's noodles instead of vegetables, and then I season it really, really well. And when I'm done, I take a little lime and squeeze a little lime juice on it. Okay, I've taken the lamb chops that are well done out of the oven. They're perfectly done. I am pouring the mixture that I have, sweetener and milk and butter into the sweet potatoes, whipping them up. I suggest you use a whisk. I use a spoon because mine were so soft and tender. Here we have the macaroni and cheese. All I did was add some salt and pepper and a little dash, just a little dash of McCormick um, steak seasoning. I love that flavor. And um, Italian herbs. Um, as you see, I'm setting up a plate and I'm finished and this is my end result. Oh no, I'm lying. It's not, it's not my end result, I apologize. Actually, I do make a sauce. And what I do is take Louisiana hot sauce, wing sauce. I take some um, Worcestershire, Worcestershire <laughs> I can't say that word, sauce, a little bit of honey, some rosemary. I didn't have actual rosemary season. All I had was the actual leaves and nobody likes those because they're hard. But after you let it boil, which I did maybe for about three minutes, I let it boil um, to look it's even and balance out the flavoring. And then I added some honey too, just a little bit of honey, squeeze of honey. I pour it on top of the lamb chops, the pork steak, and I'm done. Mm, heavenly. For the God! Mm, mm, mm. Well, I'm gonna eat, obviously. Anyways. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. You can find me on all major platforms and minor platforms. My name is Jessie Bean, and thanks for watching.